The inventory cost of a manufacturing company can be as high as 30%. To cut this cost, SMEs in an industrial park build a public warehouse and a fleet team to compose a ship, which stands for a supply hub in an industrial park. After materials are collected from suppliers, they will be sorted in ship and distributed to manufacturers just in time. In a traditional JIT system, products are delivered at the beginning of one day and stored in the company for the whole day. While in small lot and high frequency JIT system, trucks would arrive at companies more than once a day and distribute small lot each time. It's obvious that the average inventory cost is significantly reduced. However, transportation cost is sharply increased. And a solution? There goes an old theory to raise the efficiency of daily milk delivery that one truck would be in charge of a group of customers who are close to each other. Multiple customers can be served by one truck load so that transportation costs would be greatly reduced. This theory is called milk run. In the previous case, one truck can deliver small lot products to multiple companies in one round and high frequency JIT can be achieved by members of trucks. In order to achieve this high speed and clear mixed logistics, we need a strict, efficient and accurate execution and a clear plan, which is supported by a real-time and adaptive information system enabled by RFID. Therefore, we are introducing an RFID-enabled GIT logistics management system for SHIP. First of all, RFID facilities, including smart object and gateway, are set up in the industrial park for data collection and processing. The whole system is composed of milk run collection process, cross stocking process, and milk run distribution process. Let's talk about the collection process first. Dated back to 2009, our RFID enabled wireless manufacturing system has been awarded a GS1 Silver Award. It's assumed that all companies in this case have applied this system so that real-time information can be transmitted to ship for adaptive decision making. The reasons why our system is employed here are that real-time change of the production schedule may result in too many or too few material collections for one unit of truckload. Highly stochastic usage of fleet resources might cause infeasible schedule which has been made based on historical statistical resource status. Operators may not strictly follow the decided material collection plan. Operators might be confused due to highly dynamic material collection requirements of multiple various suppliers. Delay of reports of disturbances in collection processes may affect the efficient execution of the JIT process. During the loading operation, RFID tags attached to pallets will be detected and displayed on the PDA so that the track driver can ensure loaded materials are correct. By finishing these procedures, the truck will travel to the next location. At the same time, concurrent information will be transmitted back to SIP for real-time adjustment. After the above procedures, it is observed that the adaptive decision system views connections with suppliers' MES to capture their real-time outputs. The system considers the real-time status of logistics resources. Auto-ID tags and readers enable real-time supervision of material collections. Real-time data synchronization assists coordination between the collection process and ship management. Next, let's move to the cross-docking process. Forklift drivers receive a notification of truck arrival at the collection dock. Once the job is confirmed, a list of required materials is shown on the PDA, and the forklift driver can start unloading. Then other forklift drivers can download a cross-docking job. After job confirmation, details pickup information will be presented. When the forklift goes to the location and pick up the pallet, the ID would be detected by RFID devices and supervised as a result. Following pickup, the driver will move to the destination displayed on the PDA. The location ID will be read by RFID devices and transferred back to ship. Sometimes, order picking will also be employed according to requirements of cross docking plans. After the employment of our system, 
the adaptive cross docking decision system enables to plan whether to implement order picking or cross docking. Auto ID tags and readers facilitate instantaneous control. Due to high similarity between distribution process and collection process, which is discussed before, demonstration of distribution process is skipped here. Correct operation in distribution process might cause larger negative impacts due to higher micron frequency than that in the material collection process as shorter distance between ship and manufacturers and higher JIT requirement. A wrong collection operation could be remedied and finally come to ship, but materials distributed wrongly have to be fetched back. As a result, it is emphasized again that our RFID-enabled JIT logis logistics management system for SHIP is very crucial to this case.